So I really didn't think this was going to work, but it did. I went on the Sims 4 gallery and typed in trap house and this is what popped up. I didn't think that there would actually be trap houses in the Sims, so we got to renovate this. Alright, so this is the trap house right here. I'm not even gonna lie. This looks worse than a trap house. I don't even know. This looks more like a abandoned house. <sighs> but you guys know what we gotta do. Grab my sledgehammer and just go all across this front, inside, and backyard. Why didn't it remove all the stuff? Okay, yeah, this is gonna take a while, definitely. Why do they have the constructions in the blocks that they put in the middle of the road? Okay, I'ma just go ahead and finish removing all this junk. And it's trash underneath the house also. This is definitely gonna be a very interesting remodel. But this is how the exterior looks after removing all that trash. But let's go into the interior and see what awaits us there. Okay, so the interior is not that bad. I'm not even lying for a trap house. This don't look too dirty or nasty like I thought. All right, so what I'm about to do is go ahead and place some sodding on this. And I'm just gonna run this gray side and all around. Wait, I just noticed they got two different foundations throughout the whole house. Wait, was this an add-on? So this back part was an add-on. They added on a bedroom in this little upstairs part. So on the exterior, I said I was going with that gray color. And then I'm also going to add some brick on the top part. Add some black roof trimming. Well, roof pattern. I always call that roof trimming for some reason. And now I'm going to add the roof trimming right here. I see they got this little small step here. But I think we can just go ahead and add a full-on porch here since they got this roof like this so i'm gonna just go ahead and pull that i ain't gonna pull this all the way should i pull it all the way down here like that yeah i'm gonna just make that like that and move that door and make this ugly light and i thought i removed all these arrows but we're gonna just go ahead and add a step here pull it down one time put a decent little side door right here and i'm just gonna add some plain white fencing around this little side porch with the matching white railings I definitely can't forget the columns. For the foundation, I'm gonna add this little deck look to this little side porch and to this front porch. I think this area right here, I just wanna do regular foundation also because you shouldn't be able to tell like that's like an add-on. And before I go any further, I definitely gotta change out this pink railing. This is ugly. All right, so now that we got that going, we can place a step back right here. I'm gonna just push that in like that. All right, so I decided to switch up that front window in the front and use a big, nice modern style window. And then I use these two windows up here. And I'm thinking somehow we turn this in to like a little apartment building basically so i'm thinking right here this will be like the entrance space to the second apartment so all this area right here will be the entrance to the second apartment up here we'll remove this wall right here okay there we go and instead of placing a staircase i'm gonna place a ladder here so it doesn't interfere with too much so place a ladder here and you can go up into the second apartment and we can just go ahead and remove this staircase because that won't be needed no more and pull this over so we can close that off all right so downstairs this apartment is definitely going to be way bigger than this apartment up here this would be just a little one bedroom one bathroom with a small kitchen let's go ahead and remove this stuff and i'm gonna work on this apartment first i'm looking at this bathroom design and i'm feeling like i should pull this wall into this one and pull it back a little bit just so we'll have a little space up here when you come up the ladder or whatever you can come into the apartment and just have like a little chair or something out here i don't know i'm thinking this little space over here we make this like the little kitchen area so we'll do two cabinets there cabinet here and one here like that or maybe this kitchen is a little bit too big for how small this is but i definitely want to be able to put a regular size stove in here so stove will go here like that mm, this is a real small apartment maybe we don't go a regular size stove maybe we go like little kitchen over here so i'm gonna treat this like a small apartment i'm gonna go stove top here i'm gonna do a full size refrigerator and i'm gonna place that here in this corner and i'll do a sink on the end so a window above the sink half a tile above the refrigerator and a full tile above the stove like that and then on the wall in this space maybe we go a little tv make this like a little living room space so i'll just put two little chairs right here and i can't build a wall here because this window i could but i don't want to make it interfere with that window so what i'm gonna do is go queen size bed but i just noticed how big that is and the twin is still real big in here i did not think these beds was gonna be this big but i'm gonna just place a little twin bed here bathroom door go there it's kind of interfering a little bit hopefully the sims will still be able to open that maybe i'll just have to make that bathroom bigger than what i wanted to and pull that down like that this bathroom is real life bigger than the whole apartment i'm thinking maybe we take some space from this okay i'm not even lying. i'm starting to feel like this fits perfect now so i'm gonna push this wall in matter of fact we can do a bigger bed now so i'm just go ahead and do my little full size white bed place a little nice stand beside it and in this middle space thinking we just place like a little dining room table like right up in here or see the perfect opportunity to make this kitchen a tad bit bigger 
before we go any further i'm gonna just go ahead and paint here with this plain but pretty paint swatch run some nice little hardwood floors through here and go to what has now become my favorite tile floors these limestone floors in this bathroom all right so we're gonna place the shower tub combo here and it's not really interfering with the window because it's kind of like a little glass so it's basically not interfering with that window and i'm gonna place my toilet right beside it and i'm just gonna do a white vanity in here and we're gonna place one little vanity here or maybe we can use this single sink in here place this mirror here and boom that's our bathroom floor in here all right so this is the first apartment right here this is the small apartment it's one bedroom well not really a bedroom all right that's the first apartment on to the main apartment so this is also still a one bedroom oh i just noticed we deleted oh we didn't have a bathroom here because i forgot i decided to change that up so we got to create a bathroom down here before i create the bathroom i'm just gonna remove all this stuff paint in here with the plain but pretty paint swatch and add those exact same wood floors down here but just in a different color all right so now i'm looking at the design for the bathroom i'm thinking we just take this wall right here and slide it back because that's nothing right there and it's not interfering with the ladder so we just slide that back and make this the bathroom place one of these windows down here in the bathroom grab a shower tub combo and just stick that in there toilet right beside the shower tub combo and i need to draw a wall on the Oh, it's gonna be in the shower tub combo. Wait, how is this wall placing? Oh, I don't have the shower tub combo all the way back. Okay, hey, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing like I did up there. Grab this little single sink and I'm gonna place two down here instead. Place these little circle LED mirrors above both of them. And I'm not even gonna lie, I wanna do this little black tile on the wall behind it and place the door here. In the bedroom, I'm gonna place a bed here and i'm gonna use these little table things as the little nightstands one of my newest favorite designs placing these lights above the little nightstands like that and i'm not even gonna lie i feel like this wood right here will fit perfect in this bedroom so i'm gonna use this as an accent wall on this back wall all right so in front of the bed of course i'm gonna place a tv um uh, i'm gonna have to do it more in the corner so we'll still be able to place the door slide that over and shrink it down a little bit and it looks a little smaller because these are taller walls so i'm gonna just place that there dress it right under it i need to align that perfect and i just realized it's not the same color it looks like the same color but it's two different colors so we're just doing it all white all right so in this downstairs kitchen we can actually do a pretty big kitchen in here so i'm thinking we run cabinets down the here place a corner cabinet in between there and i just remembered the front door goes here i'm tripping so we gotta remove that oh we can still do it like that i can just place a regular cabinet here slide this down one and place like a little pantry here and then the front door will go right here beside it and then do a nice little two cabinet aisle in the middle we need to slide this down one. okay so we need to put the island cabinets on the back of that like that and in this apartment right here we actually get to use a normal style stove so we'll just place that there upper cabinets right here and this one we're gonna do the double stack cabinets and we need to pull these down just a tiny bit because i feel like they're a little bit too high and should i paint the island black thing just to do like a different little design okay and then on this end cap this is where the fridge goes so i need to remove that actually and place a full tile cabinet here and the fridge will fit right under it like that all right so above this stove i need to place another full tile cabinet there and just slide this little simple stove in right up in there and i'm gonna take that same black tile that i used in the bathroom behind those sinks and place it right behind this okay this would have looked nice if these cabinets right here were brown but i feel like if i make those brown it's just gonna throw off well that kind of looks good yeah maybe we'll do it like that all right so the two things that we definitely can't forget which is the sink and a dishwasher now we need to place our front door and i'm thinking we go with this modern front door yeah that looks good and i'm gonna build a custom fireplace in here so i know in the last video i did this same fireplace design but in this one right here i'm not gonna add a platform under it i'm just gonna do a plain little fireplace with this black towel on it i'm gonna stick the window inside of it and place some immaculate shelving above that window and on this fireplace we cannot forget to place our curved tv all right so i'm not even lying. i'm not that good with decorating so in here i'm looking at doing a sectional so i know we're gonna probably have to use this piece right here maybe like right here and then we just use a normal piece and grab like a curve well not curve wedge piece and then just grab the a few regular pieces in place here i feel like that looks pretty good but we definitely need to change the color on this couch place a little circle rug there and since i did this this shape i'm not sure what kind of coffee table to place there so i don't 
think I'm gonna be able to place a coffee table. I heard you guys, but I'm gonna just end this here. Y'all let me know what y'all think it is. I feel like on this second apartment, this is like one of my craziest designs I ever did. Yeah, this was, y'all seeing how this was. This was basically an ugly trap house and I turned it into two apartment, two one bedroom apartments. So I just wanna tell you guys, I appreciate all the love and support on each video. Y'all keep dropping the comments. I like reading the comments, liking them, hearting them and replying to them and drop some more build ideas down in the comment section below. And yeah, if y'all haven't watched my previous video go watch that i renovated a huge forty-five thousand dollar trailer go check that out and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video